I'm in the middle of a brew day and it's raining. Fourth brew on the Gluten 70. Uh, link down below to the unboxing video and I'm gonna come back to uh, like my thoughts on this system and how uh, it's getting along. Today I want to share an experiment I did about mash times. Last brew day was suggested from one of my patrons. Speaking about patrons, this episode is sponsored by my patrons and channel members. Thank you so very much. Links down below to all of that. Speaking of that, this is like a behind the scene experiment for the patrons and channel members. So this might not reach the, the channel, but yeah, you could call it an instant blonde. Today's brew is gonna be a triple split batch, if you can call it that. But on to the experiment. Patrick wanted me to do like a mash time experiment, and I've done one in the past, but I thought it was an old video, and I did it with the refractometer, and there's so many variables there that could go wrong. So I wanted to do it properly. Is it worth it? 30 minutes versus 60 minutes versus 90 minutes. Yeah, let's get into that. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. So if you want to learn with me how to become a better brewer, possibly, because you become a subscriber if you're into beer, yeah. And of course, hit that little bell to get notifications and smash that like button. Simple experiment, but hopefully someone learns from it. So, 30 minutes into the mash, I poured off a deciliter of wort and returned it back into the kettle. Don't know why. I thought that maybe it could collect something here in the faucet. You don't see the faucet now. I took another, another sample. I poured that sample into a saucepan and took it inside. Just heated it up to stop the conversion and poured it into a sealed vessel. Then I did the same at 60 minutes, poured off one deciliter and worf locked it back and poured a new deciliter and did the same thing, heated it up in the saucepan, it's an induction, it's super fast, and poured it into a sealed container and at 90 minutes I did the same. Then I let the samples sit out to cool down for over two hours, so they were the same temperature, and then I took a reading with the hydrometer. And here are the results. Cheers! And before we go through the results, it was a normal strength beer, and what I mean by that, but like 5% beverage intended. And I did a mash at 65 Celsius, the good doctor will translate that into Fahrenheit. I took a sample at 30 minutes, 60 minutes and 90 minutes. At 90 minutes, and of course, this is before sparging and all of that. This is just during the mash. At 90 minutes, I had an SG at 10.73. At 60 minutes, I had an SG at 10.72. So just one point for 30 minutes extra, okay? At 30 minutes, I had an SG at 10.68. So that's four points for 30 minutes. So what, what conclusion can we draw here? But yeah, there is another thing also we have to look at, which was interesting. So at 30 minutes, most of the conversion has already happened. And doing another 30 minutes gave me four points. And doing another 30 minutes after that gave me another point. So maybe 30 minutes is, is enough, because more ain't that expensive. But I do think that we're getting a more consistent efficiency if we are doing a longer mash, like an hour. Doing an extra 30 minutes for just one point, and no, I didn't do 120, 20, because I didn't think it was worth it with other experiments I have done. But looking at the samples, the clarity from the 30 minutes and the 60 minutes were minds apart and the 90 minutes were much clearer already. This is using a circulating system so if you're doing like brewing a bag something like that maybe you wouldn't even notice and um, to be fair 
I'm not afraid of murky wort, so it all depends. But if you want your wort to be really, really clear, with a system like this, it gets crystal clear after like 60 minutes. But I noticed that it was even clearer. Could it be clearer than crystal? Well, it was. If you're in a rush, you can do 30 minutes, count for like four points up, but it will probably depend a bit, of course. Don't take those numbers. And this, is not, this is not written in stone, but there is a guideline. Every system ain't the same and every brood ain't the same. This was, like, like I said, normal strength beer at 65 Celsius, and they are the result. If you found this video helpful, be sure to smash the like button, and uh, there's also a link down below where you can buy me a beer. If you haven't already, consider becoming a subscriber, supporting on Patreon or channel membership for even more content, like the recipe for this beer is already up on Patreon. <laughs> A lot of talking. Cheers and thanks for watching. Do you want to